Hi, this is Tracy Kite with Georgia Highlands College, and today we're going to be looking at division of polynomials. This is for the Unit 3 test for college algebra. The first set we're going to look at is for synthetic and long division, and our divisors are only going to have an A term of 1. The A term of 1 means here's my divisor. The value in front of x is 1. If we have a term other than 1, long division is the preferred method to divide. So on our first one, we're going to set it up x minus 4 and 2, 2x cubed. And I have to make sure that I have a term for each value less than the leading term. So our leading term is 3 x cubed is a cubic term. So I have to have something to the second power or a quadratic term and I have to have a linear term or something to the first power and a constant. I do for this one so I don't need any placeholders so I simply divide. To divide we only look at the first term of the divisor and the first term of the dividend. What times x would give me 2x cubed? Well, that would be 2x squared. Now I multiply 2x squared times both terms. 2x squared times x gives me 2x cubed. 2x squared times negative 4 gives me negative 8x squared. When we're doing long division, we now need to subtract both terms. So we draw our line. And we have to change the sign of both terms. 2x cubed minus 2x cubed should always be eliminated. Our first term should always equal 0. And then we combine our like terms. Negative 6x squared plus 8x squared. As long as we double checked on our place values, when we multiply back through, we should always line up with our like terms. So I have 2x squared and I bring down negative 7x. Now I'm looking at the first term of the divisor and the first term of the dividend. What times x would give me 2x squared? Well that's going to be 2x. 2x times x is 2x squared. And now I do 2x times negative 4 which gives me negative 8x. I draw my line and I change my signs. The 2x squared minus 2x squared again equals 0 and is gone. And I'm left with negative 7x plus 8x, which leaves me with 1x. Bring down plus 8. And I ask myself, what times x would give me x? Well, that's simply going to be 1. So I put plus 1. 1 times x is 1x. And 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. Draw your line and change both signs. x minus x has to cancel or be eliminated. And 8 plus 4 is 12. I no longer have a variable term. Or if I did have a variable, it would be lower than the degree of my divisor. So this is now my remainder. Because the remainder does not equal zero, then it is not a factor. This means that x minus 4 is not a factor of 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus 7x plus 8. The answer will be the quotient and the remainder. So we have 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus. And we always write the remainder 
over the divisor. So it is 12 over x minus 4. Okay, let's look at another example. In this one, we're dividing by x minus 2. So we write x minus 2 and 2. And we know we have 3x to the 4th minus 6x cubed. But then I notice I do not have any quadratic terms or terms to the second power. So I have to put 0x squared. I do have a linear term or x to the first power and my constant. Just as before, we're going to look at the first term here and the first term here. What times x would give me 3x to the fourth? So that's going to be 3x cubed. I multiply that through. 3x times x gives me 3x to the fourth. 3x cubed times negative 2 gives me negative 6x cubed. I draw my line and I change my signs. This time, both the first term and the second term are eliminated. So I bring down my 0x squared. Well, what times x would give me 0x? Well, that would simply be another 0. So I bring down my negative 4x plus 8. So x times what would give me negative 4x? So that's going to be negative 4. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And we draw our line and change both signs. This time, both of them are eliminated. And I'm left with a remainder equal to 0. If the remainder is 0, then the x minus 2 is a factor of the dividend. Another way of saying this is x minus 2 times my answer or my quotient 3x cubed minus 4. When I multiply those two together, I'm given 3x to the fourth minus 6x cubed minus 4x plus 8. So this term times this term is equal to that. Okay, so now let's look at synthetic division and how it's different. Synthetic division is commonly used if our a term is 1. So we're going to go over here and it says x minus 4. So we're going to use positive 4 to divide. Again, just like before, we're going to list out our dividend but we only want the quotients and the coefficients. We have 2, negative 6, negative 7, and 8. In order to divide using synthetic, we bring the first term straight down. Going across, we multiply this term times this term. So 4 times 2 is 8. We always add going down, so negative 6 plus 8 is 2. And we always multiply going across. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 7 plus 8 is 1. We multiply going across. And our last term is always our remainder. 
here we see that we started with 2x cubed. We divided out one of the x's, so that means this is x squared. So this is x, and this is my constant, and this is our remainder. So we would write 2x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus our remainder over our divisor. Because we had a remainder other than 0, it is not a factor. Let's do that one more time. We're going to take and we're going to be dividing by x minus 2. And so we want to place 2, positive 2, on the outside. And then I'm going to list my coefficients. And I see that I have a 3 for my fourth term, my quartic term, negative 6 for the cubic. But I do not have a quadratic or an x squared, so I put a 0. Negative 4 for the linear term and 8 for the constant. We're going to follow the same steps. We bring the first term down, and then we multiply it times 2 to go across. 3 times 2 is 6, and then we're going to add going down. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. 2 times negative 4 is 8. Negative 8. And when I add those, I'm left with 0 for my remainder. So this was x to the 4th power. And I took one of the x's and divided it out. So this is x to the third power. And this would be our x squared terms, our x terms, our constant, and our remainder. So we know that we're left with 3x cubed minus 4. And because the remainder is 0, it is a factor, so we can say that this quotient times the divisor, which was x minus 2, is equal to our original dividend, which was 3x to the 4th minus 6x cubed minus 4x plus 8. What does this tell us? How does division help us? If the divisor goes evenly into the dividend and there's no remainder, or we could say remainder is equal to 0, then the divisor is a factor of the polynomial. If it is a factor, this tells us that it is one of the zeros of the polynomial. Now you can open the Division of Polynomials, Part 2.